What song would you include in your ultimate sexy playlist? Sushi. <laughs> sure. I had a friend of mine who said he, he plays Gom, like Distraction Boys vibes. Um, Hold on. I, I thought so that was very strange. <laughs> Imagine. Um, Hi, I'm Sishi and this is Defining Intimacy. Hi guys, my name is CK and it's Des I know what it is, the first prince from my diamond Biza and we're defining intimacy. intimacy. Yeah. First question is from Mina. Um, how do you define intimacy? Sure. You only feel close to someone or something, but like you can't explain why because the feelings are so like you want to be more yourself yeah but you also want that yeah. person or that to be more them, themselves and that draws you closer to the person i say that that for me feels like intimacy would you would you then say it's more of building a much closer bond with whoever is yeah closer to you yeah or i'd say it's a, i'd say it's a bond in realness though like it's not like a I think intimacy is, is real. Also, if all the aspects are also involved, like emotional intimacy, physical intimacy, you know what I mean? Like it can be that we just, you know, meet at a higher level, like mm. emotionally, in, mm. like physically, in just as yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. That would be yeah. what you do. Okay, cool. I like that you're saying that intimacy has different, there's physical, there's, it's not that physical is intimacy. No, that, it's like, yeah. No, it's, Different, just different types of intimacy. Oh, great! You <laughs> into the next question. What type of intimacy do you prioritize the most? Mental, emotional, spiritual, or physical? Top of the list has to be spiritual, right? Um, I'm a, I'm a Zulu guy, though. You understand how spirituality plays a huge role in, especially the work that we do. Mm. Um, but more so when you you know are in a relationship with someone and you guys connect spiritually i think that's a higher level of mm. intimacy mm. for me you know what i mean if you start with the spiritual yes the other ones kind of it's like automatic exactly it's like kind of happen. you know what i mean yeah if you start with physical just to, to try and get the spiritual one is it's very kind of hard yeah right? uh, and i agree it has to be number i agree ah uh, cool moving on how did you learn about sex Oh, that's so street. Wow, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she did, How like, did you learn right about to sex? It. Um, I can't lie to you. It wasn't like, I didn't like learn sex the best way. Yeah. It was obviously sick. porn, right? I think I was exposed to porn at a very young age. Uh, a lot of people are. What? I'll, I'll, I'll also tell you, man. Sometimes I always want to compare my illness. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, maybe I was too early. You know what I mean? No, I'm a man is man is early. Just thanks him last, bro. Yeah. I and my cousin. I had an older cousin. It's always cousin. It's eh? Always an older cousin, it's right? Always cousin, older cousin. He was watching. <laughs> How crazy, you know? Emmanuel, something like that. Yeah, that it was playing at midnight. So. You know the volume went down the phone. Well, it's always the same story. How crazy! How the volume was okay. low, and I walked into the 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 lounge. Uh, I think I was just going to like pee or something. You know, I was yo. I think I was seven, seven years old. I was a kid, bro. Me, I'm going to the bathroom. Hey, bro, I see my cousin, and the volume's down, and it's just images. Obviously, I'm just seeing his face, and like images are flickering, and he's like. Like, he's into it. He's in it, bruh. <laughs> I'm like, what is he watching? I want to see what he's watching. And I saw people doing weird oh. things with each other. I was like, ew. I was like, yeah, no, oh. bad. That's okay. disgusting. Okay. At the time, obviously, when we were kids, like, you don't understand yeah. what is the actual practice that they do. Yeah. yeah. So, I'd say that was the first time I was exposed to that. But over time, like, learning about sex. So, I don't know. I think for me, it just had been like an ongoing thing. 
oh, what I saw in that magazine is what is, is the actual motion yeah. that's happening in this yeah. video. Yeah. And obviously, then you then get like family members that sometimes you bump into like in, in a room and you're like, oh, no, I'm going to bump in Whoa. I'm not exposing any Malumes, but hey, they, you know, I grew up around like a lot of like Malumes around. So for me, it was just like, oh, so this is what's happening. You know what I mean? And obviously. Wait, wait, okay. I just went. So you walk into the room and boom, bam, pow, it's happening. Yeah. And then what do you do like what? Oh, you just walk away. Okay. So you open like, the door and I open the, the door and then I see them. And then what do they do? Do they no, no, just they don't see. They don't oh, they see. see you. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. So it's like, and then you run away. Okay, okay. You, And then you start asking questions yeah. in the house. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then but then at the end of the day, you then start realizing, oh, okay, cool. This is what's happening. Uh, yeah. This is how, SK. Like, then you start learning LO. Okay, yeah. cool. Then you get the full understanding of what sex is. Yeah. You know what I mean? You... What now? Hectic. Um, have you ever felt <laughs> pressured to have sex? Have I ever felt pressured to have sex? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Especially adolescent stages. Um, 14, 15, somewhere there. Because you feel it's a need. Because as scale, um, you, you'd want to have these conversations and you want to partake in these conversations, right? Mm. You'd want to have a say and a contribution of some sort. Um, everyone's doing it you know what i mean cool. everyone it's a cool thing you know what i mean so you wanna you wanna have a two cent over you know that that topic yeah. um so definitely definitely mm. yeah i agree man i mean i say even now like <clears throat> in terms of the way think, eh? it, it's it's been made to be something that i feel like it's not like yeah. I, my feelings about sex now are like so strong like that i believe it it is a spiritual thing i believe it very it's, much I believe it's a spiritual thing before it's a physical thing yes. even. Yes. Um, and the way the world is kind of just like, I just, just say it. yeah, it's like a practice and then move on. Mm, yeah, no, yeah, the, the pressure. And, and I feel a lot of people actually act on the pressure. I think more people are like, I don't really feel like this is bright or like nice or mm. something in my conscious is telling me that mm, this is not right. But I mean, the world is doing it, so I might as well do it. Yeah. I, I feel like more people kind of do it against yeah yeah their feeling about it answered the next question is <laughs> oh, sushi we are here what song would you include in your ultimate sexy playlist sushi hey 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 we're gonna do it Kill it. I can kill it, bro. I'm... No, you can't. Show me to your left side. <laughs> oh, oh, <I'm... laughs> um, come back. <clears throat> sure. I had a friend of mine who said he he plays Com, like Distraction Boys vibes. Um, all right. I, I thought that was very strange. <laughs> Imagine. Um. <laughs> Um, okay, so, okay, okay. <clears throat> what song would you include in your ultimate sexy playlist? Okay. The R&B, R&B, the R&B vibes. Um, I always, there's, there's, you know, Division? Division. Yeah, DVSN, DVSN. For me, I always opt for The weekend. Next question. Are you big on foreplay? Am I big so, this is so weird that I'm asking my brood this. So, what do you like? I'm not asking, it's the question. 50% depending on the person that I'm with, right? If, I, I always, for me, it's like, yo, do you wanna? Okay, cool, let's go. You know what I'm, I'm a team player, you know what I mean? So, am I big on it? Yes. Uh, what do I prefer? Nothing. Nothing. No storyline. No storyline, chief. Just let's go. You know what I mean? Like if, if the field is is there, if the platform is there, let's perform. You know? I like performing. I'm a performer. I'd say foreplay is in itself. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So 
I'd say that I'd, I'd, I don't really, when I used to like have sex and stuff, um, I never treat it, I, I don't anymore. Okay. I used to treat it like, it that in itself was the sex. Um, and like, we're not going somewhere. I'm like, that's the end goal. Okay. But this in itself is the, the end goal. So no, okay. that's always how I viewed it. Ah, makes sense. Okay. How do you make sure that the person you're having sex with is comfortable? That's a very nice question. For me, there has to be a relationship. If <laughs> um, Like, an established relationship between the two of us uh, there has to be a conversation yeah um where i say you say you're down to do this yes i also tell you that i'm down to do this it's you know it's exactly it's not a matter of i could sense it no 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 there's no sensing here mm-hmm. uh, not like it's, uh, you just sense address it, it. you yes. said it i said it yes and then how else to make it comfortable i'd say yeah, finding out what you like, you know. Do you enjoy this? Do you not enjoy this? This is what I prefer. This is what I don't prefer. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I'm asleep with people you can talk to. Exactly. No what point. Point. Well, they can't talk to. I can't even talk to them for doing this. Bro, come on. And I feel like it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. It has to be fun. not feel like a you performance. Know? During, you find yourself laughing and then you realize. Exactly. Oh, no, I'm actually enjoying this. And it's true. This. Like you it's, know what I mean? You know, yeah. yeah. And then, and then later on, then you start discussing. You don't feel the need to not talk about it. You know, exactly. like, it should, you're it like, yo, it shouldn't be yesterday. Shame. You, you, yeah. Exactly. Like you know, some of it, I don't want to. Exactly. Yeah, afterwards. So that, that for me is a comfortable space for the next person to be like, hey, I'm actually comfortable with you know, having this kind of intimacy with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? How many bodies is too much to wife her? Please read that question again. I need to answer it properly. How many bodies is too much to wife her? So she says I have 32. It's 32 a lot for you. It's 32 fine. 105. Hey. Two. Zero. It's okay. You can. Oh, sure. So, just enough for me to realize that we need a number. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Dang. For me, it's just like if if you respect yourself enough to understand that this is too much for you, then definitely, you know what I mean. Um, so, hundred, like hundred and five. Like I've done hundred and four, for example. I. I dog you, you surpassed 10. Oh, for me, 10 is now. For me, 10 is still, for me, 10 is still like a, a, a taboo, dog. Like, it's just like, yo, bro, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, come on, Drew, you know? Mm. Also not, I'm, I'm also putting myself in that mix. So, Wuti, if now you feel like my number is too, you know, too bad, then you have the right to say, I was it? I, you know what I mean? Okay. You know, I'm not in a position to judge you or you're not in a position to judge me. You know what I yeah. mean? It's just like, can we meet each other halfway in understanding that, okay, this was happening in this, you know, um, um, phase of my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. listen, this is who I am now. And, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. I was, I was going to say that as well as that. It's, for me, it's more dependent on where you're at now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's 10, 10, 10 bodies... Like a couple of years ago when I used to na 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 na. If it's ten bodies, like on average, where are we going? <laughs> exactly. You like, know what I mean? We'll do that now. You know, I do ten bodies tomorrow. I could do ten bodies that year. Like, you, and then that's and then I make the decision and be like, okay, that's all right. Go Dope. get your ten bodies. Go buy. Go buy those go pair buy of shoes. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. So, but yeah. Yeah. It's enough. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If it's enough for both of us, then we could. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's about where you are now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, next question. Do men truly express their emotions in relationship? Oh, I can't I can't wait to answer this one. But yeah. No. Um because like there's even this like movement now of like men should speak up or mm-hmm. treat this as the W- w- like in an actual relationship with someone of the opposite sex a lot of the time it's not it, it's it's not actually a, a priority yeah um male friendships also don't prioritize that yeah um 
it starts as a kid, you know, not being able to or man up, toughen up. Um, and then you bring that. The thing is, man up, toughen up. What it says is, if you don't toughen up, you're a bit of a burden. Yes. You just yes. toughen up, yes. man. Yes. And then what tends to happen over time is that that feeling of I'm a burden tends to override the I'm a strong man. Mm -hmm. um, and then <clears throat> you carry that with you and you don't even notice it. I think uh, I'd say that's the thing is that um, I'd say men don't actually realize that the feeling is not I'm a strong man. It's I'm scared that if I open up, I'm going to be a burden to this person and I'm not supposed to be a burden. I'm supposed to be the tough, strong guy. I'm not supposed to do that until, you know, it's too late. So mm. I'd say that in relationships, that's something that I've, I've experienced myself. It's something I've seen even in friendships. We have to go to your friend, dog, come and talk. It's okay. It is. And the boo's just like, nah, 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 it's fine. Like, it's, no, it's not fine. You know, yeah. exactly. You see, I like the fact that you also brought the friendships also in, in the picture, right? But in relationships, if we're being honest, you know, um, it's it's not as easy to express, man. You know, mm. it's not as easy. Um, with the experiences that I have now, I've, re I've come to realize that, you know, you start also thinking with, oh, I'm, I'm probably going to be a burden, you know, so I'd rather keep it to myself, you know, suck it up spend you know 15 months going through it and yeah, then after that then it's just like oh yeah um, I'm, i've moved past that then let me just continue not understanding that these these things might come back later on in exactly. your life they, will. they might you, you know what i mean yeah, you know. but then i think the idea of expressing it having the thought in your mind which you're not being a burden but you are you want to lay it down so that we can solve it if the next person is mature enough to understand what this person is not trying to be a burden or they're not trying to you know show emotions all the time they just yeah. want to talk about it move on from it so, so, so that yeah. next time when we see it happening mm. then you're like oh no remember when we talked about this this might be coming back again can we solve it quickly before it starts becoming a thing you know mm. that's important i, I, yeah. I think the, the emotional maturity of, exactly. of the person you're talking to because as a man, what I do is when, whenever I'm trying to speak about my problem, I'm trying to solve it. Yes. Like, Can we find I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be a burden. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to already, like, I don't want to open up. I don't want to, can, can we, I'm just saying this because I want to find a solution. Yes. So don't take it as me wanting to, like, be emotional and vent. Like, yeah. I'm, I've heard someone say to me, like, yo, me, I don't like guys who just vent. Like, don't vent. I'm like, what? <sighs> And you, I'm glad you told me this on the first date, love. At least now I know who I'm dealing with. Exactly. No, yes. it's like, I'm not going to deal with this. Bye, you know. Um, <clears throat> no, I didn't say it at the same time. Okay. At the same time, I mean, like, oh, <laughs> she might watch this. Um, but, <laughs> oh, tough. It's okay, tough. man. Having someone who's emotionally mature is very important. Yes. So, yeah. What do you wish you knew about sex as a young man that you now know? As a young man that... It takes away a lot from your spiritual well-being. Preach, brother, man. You know what I mean? Hey, man. You Preach. see, as if I prioritized that back then, like that 14-year-old that felt the pressure to, you know, have sex, if you had then planted that seed, I think I would have moved differently. We... <sighs> I'd say we kind of knew that, to some extent. Actually, yeah, we, I, I think we kind of knew that nah, this is not. I don't know if the world is right in saying that this is great and everyone should do it. But I want to try it. Yeah. You know, so that's so I'm like, I, I'd say that the, the, the seed is planted, but like the environment, society, et cetera, et cetera, kind of made it made it seem like it's not that deep yeah don't worry about it man no, no, it's, it's not just that a practice it's... quick quick yeah a set baller five minutes and then you're done exactly and then what we want to do is we want the experience and then it becomes a thing of like me I, uh, but i know that my heart is say but i just want to try it you know mm. so that's why i'm like I, I i think it's a whole like societal thing of like guys it's deep like you know i i think it's deep now i treat it like it's deep now i don't do it I, I really feel like it's spiritual, man. Like it's it's such a spiritual thing. It's yeah. a, my relationship with God now is like everything at a higher level. Um, right. 
And so, you know, if we treat it as such and, and realize that we can glorify God with it as well, like supposed, that's what it's supposed to do actually. Um, and so something I've learned recently, um, sex is supposed is so to glorify God. So interesting. Yeah, sex is actually supposed to glorify God, not yourself. Um, and once you do that, the way in which you have it is just, it's meant to be the greatest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Even we think it's great now and we think that like doing it like in marriage or doing it because of God, or whatever is boring. Dude, I'm, I'm learning the complete opposite that like this is actually lame. This is boring. This thing of just like hook up culture and doing it with everyone. The young man, I wish I could have, I don't know, just, I don't know, said dog, maybe trap him. Yeah, no, like, you know, like, relax, relax, yeah, like, like, boy. Exactly. You know, yeah. I, I feel like they're part it's of my bigger spirit. Than us, guys. It's, it's, I wish I could have retained it's that I feel like I've us, bro. Just like, done, like, given out for no reason, you know. But it's much bigger than we No regrets. We think, no regrets. No regrets, definitely. Because, yeah. yeah, no regrets. No regrets don't help, so. Yeah. That's a nice conversation. Yeah. I enjoyed this. Good chat, bro. Very fruitful. Good chat, good chat. Right, good people, and that's how these bros defined intimacy right um you can always follow me on my social platforms um instagram it's ck underscore sa um twitter ck underscore sa and yeah man i think it's been a great conversation yeah it's yeah? been good um i'm cc official on all platforms uh cc on apple music spotify yes please also me eh? yeah we, we make CK. music so um great but yeah music. Please, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, this was us. Defining into my This was nice, man. Yeah, man. Shasa, Bye bye. Go buy those pair of shoes. Go buy those pair of shoes. Oh, who's supposed to look there? Bye. 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 Cheers. Damn, I forgot. Bye, guys. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>